All right, all right, all right, Galindo Grizzlies and friends. Welcome back, my friends. Mr. Bennett is back with some more soccer. Uh, my Galindo Grizzlies favorite unit doing our soccer. Um, so since we are continuing with our soccer, we're going to do similar for our cardiovascular part. But instead of doing our push-ups and our sit-ups, curl-ups, I'm old school. I call them curl. I call them sit-ups. They call them curl-ups for fitness, Graham. Uh, but instead of doing our push-ups and uh, curl-ups, we're going to use either. I have dumbbells. Okay. So we're going to do instead of push-ups. We're going to do bicep curls like this with dumbbells. Mm. And that works your big biceps. And at the end, we're going to do shoulder press. You're going to hold it like this and push up and down, up and down. And that works your da 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 deltoids. Now, well, Mr. Bennett, I don't have dumbbells. That doesn't matter. You can use anything. If you remember, from when we did our baseball hit video, I think it was, I showed you, you can use big jugs of water. This, this big jug of water weighs seven pounds. That's almost exactly the same as those dumbbells. And I just hold them like this, and when we do our bicep curls, I just curl them up just like that dumbbell. Up and down. Whoa, we're doing shoulder presses. I just hold them up. Make sure the lid is screwed on tight so you don't pour yourself with water. Hold them up. Push up and down up and down okay or if you don't have gallon of milk or uh, jugs of water you can use anything okay you can use anything that that's heavy as long as you make sure you can hold on to it you can use anything you don't have to have dumbbells like me from a gym or uh, jugs of water you can use anything that weighs seven ten pounds just hold them in your hands and curl them up hold them over your shoulders and push them up and if you can't even find anything even just doing like that I can feel it in my da -da -da deltoids and if I do enough it'll start to really work that muscle just like if I have the weights okay so we're gonna do we're gonna do our running exercises like we did the last time with the high knees and the seat kickers and the outside and the inside of the river dance we're gonna do our foot skills as part of our cardiovascular exercise, remember uh, aerobic exercise where you're getting your heart beating faster over a period of time, more than just someone scares you ah! and it gets your heart beating faster for just a little bit and then it goes back to normal. That's not aerobic exercise, cardiovascular exercise. Aerobic exercise, cardiovascular is where you do something like playing a game of soccer, you're running around for 15 minutes and the whole time your heart's beating faster. Okay, so we're gonna do our aerobic activity. We're gonna do our, our running. The dumbbell curls just gives you a little bit of break, but not long enough that your heart's gonna stop beating faster. Okay, and then we're gonna do our foot skills. So if you remember, we did like toe taps, the little toe taps like that. We did the touches between your feet like that, soft little touches back and forth. We did the toe tap rolls where you just tap it and roll and stop, tap it, roll and stop, tap, roll and stop, okay? We also did the roll, step down, touch, roll, step down, touch, roll, step down, touch, roll, step down, touch. Now, this week, we're gonna add a new one, just like your toe taps, and you're gonna slowly roll the ball three or four rolls forward, and roll three or four back, so it goes roll forward, 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 stop, back, back back stop forward 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 stop back 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 stop okay so it's just gently tap roll tap roll forward tap roll forward and then roll back roll back roll back so i go just a little forward a little back okay after we do those then we'll do our shoulder presses then we'll do a few uh we'll do a couple uh we'll do a couple stretches and then we're gonna do all of that one more time, okay? And then we're gonna talk about our soccer skills uh, that we did last time we did dribbling. We practiced our passing technique. We practiced our kicking technique. And if you remember, I showed you a good way to practice your passing and kicking technique. You could do it inside when you're sitting down. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna remind you of all that. And I'm gonna show you 
a great way to help improve your overall skills and it's a challenge and it's a lot of fun because it's fun to see how many you can do in a row called bounce juggling juggling but we'll talk about that in just a minute okay so let's get started we're going to start with our high knees everybody do it with me ready one get your knees up two three four five six seven eight nine ten now we go seat kickers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now we go outside touches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now we go inside touch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now remember river dance outside outside inside inside three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten ten now get your weights whatever you got dumbbells water bottles air whatever you got you're gonna hold them down low at your waist and then curl it up and down call bicep curls curl it up and down two up down three up down four you want to go nice and slow up down five up down six up down seven three more up down eight up down nine up down ten now, if you did those correctly, you should have felt it in your big biceps. Okay, now we're gonna do our soccer skills. Remember, toe taps first. One, change feet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't step on it. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, just tap. 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Remember, touches between your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Soft touches. Eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we do our toe rows. Toe tap rolls. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we do roll, step down, touch, roll, step, touch, roll, step, touch. Three, one, four, roll, step, touch, four, roll, step, touch, five, roll, step, touch, six, roll, touch, seven, roll, touch, eight, roll, touch, nine, roll, touch, 10, roll, touch, 11, roll, touch, 12, Roll, touch, 13, roll, touch, 14, roll, touch, 15, roll, touch, 16, roll, touch, 17, roll, touch, 18, roll, touch, 19, roll, touch, 20. Okay, now we're gonna do, remember our tap rolls, three forward, so it's like this, left, right, left, one, back, two, three, two, we're gonna do 10, okay? Roll, 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 three, Back, 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 four, forward, 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 five, back, 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 six, forward, forward, four, seven, back, 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 eight, forward, 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 nine, back, 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 ten. We only do ten of those because you're doing three forward, three back, so that makes three times ten is thirty. Okay, good. Now, grab whatever you're using for your weights. I'm going to use the... Jugs of water, shoulder presses, hold it above your shoulders, up, down, one, up, down, two, push up, down, three, up, down, four, up, down, five, up, down, six, up, down, seven, up, down, eight, two more, up, down, no, up, down, and woo! I felt that in my da, 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 down toys. 
All right. Now, just a little break from our cardiovascular. We're gonna do some stretches. So grab your ball, open your legs wide, two hands on the ball, roll it to the outside of your foot, hold it there, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Roll it over to the other side. Two hands on the ball, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretching your hamstrings and gas struts in the back of your legs. Down, back to the middle. Leave the ball there. Slowly come up, bend your knee, lean to the side, stretching the inside part of your leg. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Up and over to the other side. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Good. Put your hands on the ball, roll it forward, reach as far out there as you can. Reach, reach, reach. And you should feel it in your hamstrings and gas struts. Roll it back through the middle. Reach back, 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 back. Woo-wee. And back to the middle. Last stretch. Now we're going to stretch our quadriceps. Quad stretch. So remember, you're going to grab the foot. Hold it there. Push back with your hand. Push back against your hand with your foot. And I'm going to stare at something on the ground there and count itchy knee san yan go raku nana hachi kyu zhu what language was that japanese that's right that's right you're smarter than you look other leg itchy knee san yan go raku nana hachi kyu Zoom. Good. Now, we're going to do one more round of our cardiovascular exercise. So I'm going to park my ball right there. Stay be good boy. Okay, so let's go right away into our high knees. Ready? One, two, three. Get those knees up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and seat kickers. One, two, three. Right away. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Outside, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inside touches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we do river dance, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Get your weights, whatever you're using. I'm using the dumbbells. We're gonna do bicep curls. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, seven, up, eight, up, Nine up, ten up. It's a good thing Mr. Bennett makes himself laugh so much, huh? All right, get your ball. No rest, no rest. Keep working. Remember toe taps. Don't step on the ball. Just gently touch and change. Touch and change. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Touches between your feet. One, two, soft touches. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. Now we do our toe tap rolls. Keep it going, guys. You're doing awesome. Remember, it's toe tap, roll to the other foot. Toe tap, roll to the other foot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The ball goes side to side. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Almost there, guys. Roll, stop, roll, 
stop, uh, roll, touch, stop, roll, touch, stop, four, roll, touch, stop, five, roll, touch, stop, six, roll, touch, stop, seven, roll, touch, stop, eight, roll, touch, stop, nine, roll, touch, stop, ten, roll, touch, stop, eleven, roll, touch, stop, twelve, roll, touch, stop, thirteen, roll, touch, stop, fourteen, roll, touch, stop, fifteen, roll, touch, stop, six, roll, touch, seventeen, roll, touch, eighteen, roll, touch, 19, roll, touch, 20. Last one of these soccer skills ones here. We're gonna do three toe tap roll forwards. One, two, three. Three toe tap rolls backwards. That's two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. Two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, Three, nine, one, two, three, ten. Last cardio aerobic finish. We're gonna do our shoulder presses. And I'm gonna use the water jugs. Hold it right above your shoulders. Push up, down, one. Up, down, two. Up, down, three. Up, down, four. Up, down, five, up, down, six, up, down, seven, up, down, eight, up, down, nine, last one, up, down, ten. Woo, I'm thirsty. All right. Now, my Galindo Grizzly friends, if you remember last time, the last couple of times when we were, were practicing soccer, the three basic skills of soccer were dribbling, passing, and kicking for power, or shooting, kicking for power, okay? Uh, our dribbling skills, and you were out practicing your dribbling skills, remember when you dribble forward, you use your shoelaces to touch the ball forward, just like that. And my toe comes in just a little bit, Okay, but I touch the ball forward with my shoelaces. If I wanna go left, I can use my inside or outside of that foot. If I wanna go right, I can use my inside and outside of my feet to go left and right. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. And if the ball's going forward or any direction and I wanna stop, I just put my foot on top and use the bottom of my foot. So I use all the different surfaces of my foot. If I wanna go the other direction with the bottom of my foot, I can just roll it backwards and now I'm going the opposite direction, okay? So you use shoelaces inside, outside, and the bottom of your shoe to dribble, okay? And do I touch that ball hard or soft? Very soft, because I wanna keep that ball very close, okay? So, when we did passing, remember passing is about control. And the way you pass a soccer ball and the way you kick a soccer ball are two totally different skills, two totally different techniques, okay? When I'm passing for control, I'm using the inside of my foot to pass. Just like a golf club, just like that. My toe is up. My ankle is locked. That means my foot is very firm, very solid. It's not flopping like a fish. Blah, 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 blah. It's like that. It's very solid. And it's just like a golf club. Okay. That's how I pass inside foot. And I'm hitting it right on my Nike swoosh. If I want to kick for power, then I'm kicking with my shoelaces. And it's just like this. My other foot is next to the ball. My toe is down and I'm hitting it right on my shoelaces. So it looks just like this. I come up to the ball, step next to the ball, and I'm hitting it again, right there with my shoelaces, okay? Remember again, my ankle is locked. I'm like, with my toes, I'm grabbing the bottom of my shoe. And that's how I point my toe down, okay? Now, if you remember, I showed you a great way. You can practice your passing with the inside or your kicking, especially kicking is a good one a lot better control sitting down. You can practice at home inside as long as you're not doing it too close to a TV or a light 
or something, a window, okay? As long as you have a little bit of space and you know better, you're not gonna kick it hard. So you can practice your kicking technique sitting down. Because look, this is exactly the same position as standing up. Toe down, ankle locked, ankle locked, and just a little touch kick, touch kick up. Not hard. And if I do a perfect one, then I can try two in a row. Tup, tup. Kick, kick, yes. Kick, kick. Now, if you are a superstar and you can do, oh, Mr. Bennett, I, I can do two in a row almost every time. Then you could see, what's my record? What's the most I could ever do in a row? One, two. Oh, I can only get two. One, two, three, four. Oh, I got four. One, two, three, four, five, five. But I use both feet. Okay, now, if you're a super duper pooper star, then you could try a touch kick, a head, so I have to take off my hat, because in soccer you can use your head, so I can, if you can do a touch kick, a head touch, and catch it, that's a super duper pooper star, so it's touch, head, catch. Ooh, I'm a super duper pooper star, no good. Touch, kick, head, catch. Oh, that's super hard. Touch, kick, head, catch. I got it. That one's super hard. Okay, now, if you can go outside, if you can go outside, a great way to practice your soccer skills, just your touches and skills in general, is by what's called juggling the ball. Okay? And if you ever see like these really high level pro players, they can juggle a ball forever without ever letting the ball touch the ground. They can just sit there and juggle the ball for as long as they want without ever letting the ball touch the ground. And it doesn't have to be just your feet. They use all the different body parts, the thighs. Because in soccer, you can use all your body, except can't use your arms, can't use your hands, but you can use your chest, your belly, your thighs, your feet, your hiney, your back. You can touch the ball everywhere on your body except for your arms and hands. Only the goalkeeper can use his hands, portero, right? That's the only person who can use their hands, okay? But to practice your soccer skills, uh, they do a lot of the players do juggling to improve their touch and control on the ball okay now we're gonna start a little bit different way it's called bounce juggle okay and our first challenge is going to be all you're gonna do standing up and do this only outside do not do this inside because then you're gonna get in trouble with mama and you don't want that okay so you're gonna just gently toss the ball up and after it bounces you're gonna see if you can just gently kick it up and catch it. If you can do a touch kick and catch, then you get a point. See how many points you can get in a row before you make a mistake. So when I do it, again, I'm gonna try to kick it with my shoelaces and I'm gonna have my toe pointed and my ankle locked. So I'm gonna go toss, bounce, touch, kick, catch. Toss, bounce, touch, kick, catch. And if I do it perfect, it almost goes straight up. Toss, bounce, cut. Toss, bounce, touch, kick, catch. Oh, you know what, Mr. Bennett? I can do that, that's easy. So then the next challenge is if you do one really good kick, see if you can do a second kick. Toss, bounce, kick, kick, catch. Woohoo! I got two kicks. Toss, bounce, touch, touch, catch. Ooh. Toss, bounce, touch, touch, catch. Oh, I need to practice the first one a little more. Toss, bounce, touch, catch. Toss, bounce, touch, catch. I think I can do two now. Toss, bounce, touch, touch. Ooh, I barely caught it. Okay. Now, a super duper challenge. If you can do two kicks and a catch, then the next super duper challenge is can you do 
toss, bounce, touch, kick, little head touch, and catch. So again, I think I'm gonna hunt for this one. Toss, bounce, touch, head, catch. Ooh, toss, bounce, touch, kick, head, catch. And when I hit it, I don't hit it up top. I hit it right here on my forehead. Toss, bounce, touch, and, and you can practice the head part, just toss and head, toss and head. But then you go toss, bounce, touch, kick, head, catch. Okay? Yeah. And you get to see Mr. Bennett's coronavirus haircut. <laughs> okay? If you are a super duper pooper scooper star, then you try to see what is the most kicks, touches, using any body part except for my hands, I can do in a row. So I would start with a bounce, then one, two, three, four, five, up! Oh, I got five! Bounce, one, two, three, I can even let it bounce in between, four, five, up! Oh, I got five again! You can do bounces in between two. Only one bounce, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, ten is my record. Okay, so there's some juggling challenges, bounce juggles, juggling challenges for you. Uh, for my Galindo Grizzlies, make sure you tune into the video at least two or three times this week. Do the first exercise part, the cardiovascular part with the running and the footwork stuff. Do that at least two to three times this week with the video so that you get your heart rate elevated. Make sure you get out, ride your bike, run around with some friends, with your mama, go for a walk, get out every single day and be active. If you get a chance, also go out with your friends and practice passing with your friends. Practice kicking with your shoelaces with your friends. But make sure you're not doing it where there's something like a window or something that you can break, okay? So again, you do the video, do our running and footwork part two to three times a week, get out, practice bounce juggling two to three times a week, and practice your passing and kicking uh, with some friends if you get a chance, okay? So, and then uh, I will see you later, later, later. I love you guys and I miss you, bye.